let's talk. So chapter nine was about gravity. Gravity. What did we think about the gravs? The gravities. Well, well I think I kind of had like a I'm not gonna say a dumb moment, but when I first was thinking about the apple falling mm-hmm. and then how they mentioned it, it's the same type of gravity that keeps the planets circulating or, you know, in line. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like, well, really, like, why wouldn't they fall then? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, where are they going to fall to? <laughs> Did y'all ever think about that? No, but now that you bring it up, that's a great question. Because where would it fall? Like, like if let's say like if Earth, because like you know Earth's like in the universe or whatever, if like Earth started falling down, like where would it go? Like would it just keep falling? Yeah, but then I was thinking like, okay, maybe because the atmosphere or like outer space, I don't know whatever they call it, is so large. In comparison mm-hmm. to the size of the planets, it has to be some type of gravity, right? So that they don't be floating all out there. True. That, that would make more sense, I I would say. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about it, but I don't know. But I still would like, like to know, like, where would it fall? Like, is it fall? It, like, is there a place or is it like never ending? I guess we'll never find that out. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we ever would. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good thing though. Yeah. I wonder if we'd feel it though. Like if the earth started falling, like if we would feel it where we're at, like Ooh, we yeah. any type of change on our body or like we feel it like I don't mm-hmm. know. Because like, you know, they say the earth is always moving, but like we, we just don't feel it. So I wonder in that case, but then I think it might have something to do with like speed too, because maybe if it felt like slow, we would feel it. Right. I don't know. Okay. Well, so- like would ever make the earth heavier, like, you know, all the people and like other stuff, like animals and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. I wonder if we would ever like make the earth like too heavy to the point, like it messes with the gravity and starts to fall. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, there's probably like sci-fi movies on that <laughs> right and then i wonder while we're falling like would we on earth and our stuff would it stay still or would things start to float like how would that be because we're not where we are anymore you know mm-hmm. that would be interesting that would be nice you always bringing up good points. Like I be thinking, like when you ask that, I be like, "Wow, I never thought about that." What, what is the answer to that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think I think too much and like hey, too far in bed. Around. Knock it off. Sorry, my cats are being jerks to each other. <laughs> Stop. Hey, Frank, leave him alone. Go, go, go. You go play with your straw. You leave him alone. <laughs> I think it's so cool that animals can understand what we say. That is crazy. And they don't speak English. I was trying to get my cat to respond to me the other day. I said, Frank, meow if you can speak English. And he just kept looking at me. I'm like, Frank, meow if you can (laughs) understand English. And then he's still not answering. So I go, meow, understand English. He just looked at me like. And I said, do you want food? He goes, meow. And I go, what? Right. Well, (laughs) I guess you got he, he understood. Now meant yes in that case. You know, because I really do think animals understand, but just like are like selective on when they want to like listen. Yeah, because mm-hmm. um, yep. I swear, like we be telling my dog, like I'm like Yuki, don't do this, and like he does it anyway. But like you said, other stuff, and then I don't know the way he just responds to different things. I'm just like okay, Yuki. Like I feel like he's just selective on what he wants to do and what he doesn't. But I don't know. Dang, Yuki, can you stop? He's looking <laughs> at the butthole. Like, that's what, and it's so loud. Like, dang. 
That is so funny that both of y'all animals is being naughty. <laughs> Man, and then like my sister has a cat and he's in the room in her room just like, and I'm like, be quiet, like. Oh, <laughs> It's like it's but, not the time to talk right now. Shush. Man, but I can't let him out because then my dog will try to attack so, him. It's it. just it's just so bad. They don't get along at all. Because my dog doesn't know how to stay to himself. Like he always be trying to hump the cat, lick the cat, all that. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, they're that both boys. Funny. That's the thing. I'm like, y'all are both boys. What are you doing? I'm yeah. gonna <laughs> you can stop. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> that is crazy. Listen, Seth. All right. Come get your mouse. Cats are being such jerks to each other. <laughs> All right. Uh... When I took these notes and I read these uh, these two chapters, I did it at like. 2 30 in the morning <laughs> the mm -hmm. night before so i don't remember no it'd be like that sometimes you know what crazy thing i like to do my homework at that time like between like 2 a.m and like 6 or 7 a.m yeah if i'm up at two but i love getting up early i like to sit outside and do my homework Ooh, that's, that's peaceful <laughs> yes i like to hear the birds you know feel the sun okay man but the flies they're taking over you can't really sit outside and enjoy yourself without some flies i know i'm like isn't it time for them to like go back to wherever they go during like the fall or winter or whatever they die <laughs> all of them die they get too damn cold well we gotta like, get cold when do they come, how do they come back then like if they die I'm like how do they come sure. back do they do they put um like little eggies? Do they lay eggies? Oh yeah, maggots, larva. Have a fly. I hate maggots so much. Oh my gosh! Like I'm so like I don't want to terrify, but kind of terrify. Like when I see them, I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well let me look maggots make me sick to my stomach. If I look too long, I will like start throwing up. Yeah. I remember I was trying to take out the trash when I lived in this town home and like um the trash was like in the garage and like I guess there was like a hole in the trash and it was just a whole bunch of maggots. Like I literally almost died. Oh. I'm like, what the heck? That is so gross. That's crazy. Hey! Bill! Get the get off of him. Go. You're getting locked in here. I don't even care. What are her cats cutting up today? <laughs> okay. okay, I just wrote down some notes for chapter nine, chapter um did you get out of the bathroom? No. Chapter nine and chapter ten, and then I put down some questions. Are you guys okay with this? It's it's not a lot, but it's just some. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm reading a thing about black holes, and then it says in figure 9.28, it says anything mm -hmm. that falls into a black hole is crushed out of existence. And I'm like, whoa. That's okay, so terrifying. is that what would happen to Earth? Yes. Would it be crushed? I guess that's assuming if it falls into a black hole, though. I wonder where is the black hole? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, where, where is the black hole? And how did they learn this? Well, wouldn't it be like, so everything is, so like, let's say I'm a star, right? And I like combust in on myself. So now I'm pulling in everything. Like I'm just pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling objects in space and everything. And like, I like to imagine black holes in the sense of like meat grinders. So, you know, when you put a piece of meat in a meat grinder and it's, you have mm -hmm. two different forces that are pulling, 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 and it rips it all apart. That's kind of mm -hmm. how I I like to think of black holes is that it pulls all of that all of the whatever that matter and shit in and then it just rips it apart because it's got a lot of like internal forces just ripping and so it's just gonna rip everything it's gonna be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I think <laughs> and then to the point where like it disintegrates because like where does it go I'm pretty yeah sure I was just like about to ask that like like after everything is like pulled apart then what like does it collect somewhere does it just kind of float around like 
I and wonder how they probably, the black holes too. It's mm-hmm. probably too dangerous to find out besides like through yeah. the satellites and stuff. You know, I don't think it would ever be safe. Yeah. To oh, get yeah. close yeah. enough to see. Oh, but yeah. that's that's cool though. <laughs> Space itself is just so interesting. Like, yeah. Do you guys feel like there's like other planets where there's there's like life on other planets? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah me I too. believe so. I definitely believe so 